So, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G SoC is the chipset that will power flagship Android smartphones in 2021. The SoC was announced earlier in December through an online event, and it brings some remarkable improvements in the already popular Snapdragon platform. Qualcomm promised a 25% improvement in CPU performance and a whopping 35% improvement in GPU performance. And now Qualcomm has also shared scores from benchmark apps like Antutu, Geekbench CPU, and GFX Bench, and other AI-related benchmarks. And it looks like the Snapdragon 888 5G is clearly well ahead of the previous Snapdragon 865 and the 865 Plus. But surprisingly, Apple is still well ahead in the silicon race. But before further we do, if you do end up liking what you see here, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Now let's get back to the video. So, according to Onin Tech, the Snapdragon 888 chip earned a single core score of 1135 and a multi core score of 3794 in Geekbench 5 testing. The iPhone 12 Pro, which is powered by Apple's A14 chip, scored 1603 in single core testing and 4187 in multi core testing. As for the iPhone 11 Pro, powered by the A13 chip, it scored 1,331 in single-core testing and 3,366 in multi-core testing. Thus, the Snapdragon 888 is actually able to beat the A13 in multi-core testing, but the gap was really shuttle. Finally, Qualcomm also shared benchmark results from graphics testing using GFX Bench. Here, the Snapdragon 888 recorded 86 frames per second, which places it behind the iPhone SE, iPhone 11 series, and iPhone 12 series. The A14 Bionic maintained a thorough lead in Geekbench and GFX Bench scores, proving Apple's reigning dominance, now in the 5 nanometer arena. The Snapdragon 888 chip isn't quite performing at the level of the A13 or A14 chips from Apple but it is a significant improvement over prior generation Snapdragon chips used in current flagship Android smartphones. CPU performance is up by 25% and GPU performance is up by 35%. So, what do you guys think about the upcoming Snapdragon 888 5G chipset? Let me know in the comments down below, and as always, I will see you guys in my next video.